Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here checking into the love energy that we've got going on around you right. Um, talking about whoever it is that's on your mind. Okay. Um, this reading is for the collective. You don't need to be any specific sign for this reading. Um, any Anyone is welcome here. And uh, yeah, just it may not resonate with all of you, so just take what resonates and leave the rest, right? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, you guys. Everybody here is so kind to me. Thank you so much for all of your support to the channel. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you to everybody new here. Hi. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm so jazzed about this channel and I'm so proud of all of us and I'm so grateful for all of your support. Thank you so, so much for everything. All right, Divine, what messages do you have for the collective today? What messages do you have? Waves of emotion. All right, what I'm feeling like here, honestly, is um, I'm just going to pull those for for an oracle, okay? I feel like you're going through um, a lot of emotions here. For whoever this is for, you know, one minute you're okay, the next minute you're like crying and um, feeling really sad because I feel like, you know, um, you had a wish here, hoping, praying, yearning that somebody's going to come forward. And I feel like somebody, you know, when this card came out, I feel like somebody has come forward. OK, uh, and possibly express themselves if they haven't. They're about to. They're about to. And I feel like they're going to tell you that you are their wish. They're good because you're wishing what you are wishing for is wanting you to. What you want is wanting you to. OK, but they're going to tell you that they're single. They're going to tell you that they've got the chaos cleaned up. They're going to tell you that um, they're not in any toxic situations or something, okay? And you're going to want proof. And I feel like, um, you know, it's just very emotional for you because I, I feel like you're not going to trust this person coming in even though you want them so flipping bad. And I feel like they want you too, but, you know, I'm not so sure if they're going to be able to provide you with the with the proof that you need <laughs> pa -pa 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 -pa. um yeah so let's see what we've got okay divine what messages do you have for me show me proof here why is proof here divine why is proof here that one wants to come out yeah, this is somebody from your past. See, they're coming in, offering you a cup, I feel. Um, this was somebody who you haven't been in uh, communication with for a while. It could have been even years, okay? You could have children with this person, that kind of thing. Um, but I feel like they're coming back in. They're telling you they want to be with you. This is a past life soulmate connection here. I feel like this person, see what we have, okay. They could have, they could be telling you that they just got betrayed, that it's over, that they're sad, that they're heartbroken. My eye is leading me to this person here, okay. And I feel like, number one, this, this masculine energy here has a hoodie on. I feel like they're hiding something underneath that. All right, and I feel like yours is kind of half on here. I've seen it sort of hang off. I feel like you just don't know if you can do this, step into this wholeheartedly. This person comes to you to make you an offer. Um, and this is someone that you're wishing for. This is your wish. They're wishing for you too. But I feel like I'm looking at this dude and I'm thinking they may... This to me, like, it reminds me of the fool, you know, um, wanting to take a, a new journey here. But I feel like either they, they could have just recently, I feel like this is in their past, they could have just recently walked away from somebody here. And I feel like this little guy right here is the proof. I feel like they're, but they're just 
now taking that leap of faith. So I don't know if they have any toxicity. Um, and you're going to be like, is this, is this true? Is it not true? You're going to be kind of stuck in your mind. That may be what triggers your waves of emotion here. Um, or is this person going to keep me stuck in my head? I feel like they come in to, to tell you that they want you to. What you're wishing for is wishing for you. And, um, but how, it's almost like how cleaned out is that toxic energy, right? How clean, did, did this person really truly get rid of whoever that they're with? Did they really truly, were they really truly just betrayed? Because see, you're, you're looking at this person looking for an answer, hoping for a good answer, hoping for the proof, right? Um, but the proof is, is just behind them here. So they, they literally just walked away from something. They're just wanting to go on a new journey. Um, yeah, and this person wants to reunite. They want to reunite. They want to get back together. But you don't know if this is r real or not. You don't know if it's true or not. And I, I feel like it just triggers you or it will um, for whoever this is for. It's not for all of you. But I feel like you're looking for all the red flags. You're trying to pick up on really what are, do they have good intentions for me? Are they lying? I, you don't trust this person anymore. It's very hard. It's like you want to trust this. Oh, you want it so bad. You know, they approach you. They tell you that they're breaking away. They tell you they were just betrayed. They're telling you that they want a new beginning here, that they want to get back together. But is it something that you can actually believe in? Is it something that you can believe in? Or is this person keeping secrets, right? Um... Yeah, man, that's a tough one. Uh, what else can you show me about this situation? Can you show me this Ten of Swords, please? Show me the Ten of Swords, Divine. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Let's dig into it, guys, and let's see what we can find out. I feel like they're telling you that. I feel like they're telling you. Well, give me one more on the sun. I kind of get the feeling like they could be telling you the truth here. Death and transformation. I feel like they, they could be telling you the truth. They may even tell you that um, they found out about a baby. Maybe there's a baby that isn't theirs. Um, but yeah, I do feel like they're telling you the truth here. They want to put an end to whatever they've been in, whatever has given them the Ten of Swords to the back. And they, this is a death and transformation here with the death card. Um, they want to put an end to the fighting. They want to put an end to the competitions. There, there could have been a huge fight that this person is, is just coming from, okay? But they're coming to transform the situation. They really are. I feel like that I feel like this person's going to be telling you the truth. Bossing up into an emperor. Learned a lesson, a lot of them. Uh you know, the emperor just like the empress in the tarot deck is every queen in the deck, the emperor is every king in the deck. They learned all the all the aspects of every king in the deck. So I feel like this person's been put through it. I feel like with the Ten of Swords, something is definitely coming to an end here. Just a painful one. This person's been betrayed. There was a huge fight. There could have been other people involved in the situation. They could have been cheated on. Okay? And there's been an end to that situation. And now they want to come in and transform this. You may even want to take some time to think about this. Okay? I feel like... This is you saying, I need, to, I need to think. And while you're thinking about it, you get those waves of emotion because it's someone that you want really bad. It's, it's, this is a connection that you've wished for. This is a past life soulmate connection. 
um, and you want this person in your life with you, okay? You want to build something solid for them. You want this too. The same thing that you are wishing for, this person is wishing for. All right, but you just don't trust it. You don't trust it, man. This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got Scorpio out here and Leo. Um, I feel like I feel like this person was in a commitment. They could have even had children with with someone. I feel like they're you're worried about that. Is the is the whole commitment coming down? You know, if this if they were committed, this could be somebody who's a boss, business owner really good with their money they may have a lot of money here as the king of pentacles energy um they may be you know be working on their finances building them up or they could just be like um they could have been watching you maybe they're uh if you're thinking about all of this they could get hop online and try to see if you're posting anything about it that kind of thing Clarify this Eight of Pentacles for me, please. Ooh, that's too many. Yeah, while they wait for an answer, they're watching you online. Yeah, look, because on the bottom of the, on the bottom of the stack that I picked up was the Fool card. They really want to take a leap of faith with you. They want to start a new journey with you. I feel like they come and tell you this. Okay. You realize here their wish is what their wish is your wish. You both are wanting the same thing. And I feel like um I feel like they tell you everything that's just happened to them. They have just walked away. They want this. I'm seeing this as the fool card and here's the fool. I'm telling you. This person's they they're telling the truth, but um I mean, they just walked away from something. They just walked away from something to come towards you. Do you see what I'm saying? So they may need to heal some more. This is going to be another thing that's going to trap you in your mind, okay? I feel like you, you tell them you need to think about this. You're not really sure. You, you want to consult with the divine about it, okay? You do. Um, you're using your intuition here. But it's you want this person so bad. And it, it, then you go and you think about it, and they watch you online to see if they can, are you posting anything? Are you talking to anybody about it? What, you know, what, what's going on in your head? They try to figure out what's going on in your head while they sit and wait because it stresses them out. It, they're waiting for your answer on this. The ball is going to be in your court collective. They're waiting to hear an answer after they tell you all of this. Um, but I feel like they are alone. I feel like this person is alone. I feel like they've been betrayed. They also need to do some healing here. This one wanted to come out. I feel like they watch you. Maybe they wonder if you have somebody else around you. I feel like they're, they're, wanting, they're watching you like a hawk. They're wondering who you're talking to, who's telling you what about this, who's convincing you not to be with them. That's what they're going to be worried about. Who, who is convincing you not to be with them? They're worried about that. They're just going to sit in bed and worry. I feel like the next day, right, the next morning, you're going to get a lot of communication from this person. Are we doing this or not? Are we going to do this or are we not going to do this? What's the answer? Do you have an answer? Can you tell me anything? <laughs> You're going to get a lot of communication from this person because they're really stressed. Sorry about that collective. I had to change the battery and relight a candle. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Ace of Swords. This is telling me that this person is in fact telling you the truth. This is what they want. This is what they want. Um, I feel like you guys are going to talk, okay? You're going to talk about whether or not you're going to get back together. Are you moving forward with this? You know, this person, they want to know really bad because it's the end of a cycle. I feel like they're... Uh, 
somebody got in the middle of this. I feel like it's whoever they were with. There's been a lot of betrayal. Are you guys going to go forward with this or not? That's what this person's going to want to know. <laughs> like, I see them giving you one night to think about this. For real. I see them giving you one night. See, you've got waves of emotion. It's dusk. Okay? So this person could come around and have this talk with you, like, in the evening or something like that. They give you one night. The next morning, they're messaging you. Okay? Um, yeah, this could be your divine masculine, divine feminine, twin flame soulmate. Yeah, what's the decision? What is your decision? Please tell me. I got to know. I got to know. Are we going to move forward on this or not? Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yes, I feel like it's a yes. I feel like it's a yes. Someone here is going to invest in this Ace of Cups, guys. I feel like this could very well be a brand new beginning. The scales are about to be balanced here. Everything's going to balance out. This to me is like it's time for union. Look at the divine is up here bringing you guys together like a couple baby ducks. All right. And I feel like somebody is investing in this. I feel like the answer is going to be yes. You both want the same thing. You know, you both want the same thing. What you want wants you. Okay. Who you want wants you. Um, so, yeah. And I feel like this person is telling the truth. I really do. All right, give me one more for the collective. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, I'll just call out the signs, either you or them, right? Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aries, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces. Heavy on the Virgo, heavy on Aries right now. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on Cancer, Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, yeah. Yeah, you're both, look, on the bottom of the deck, Magician, you've both manifested this, both of you, both of you have, yeah, Calmer Waters, I feel like you guys are going to be going to Calmer Waters together. I feel like you're still going to be worried. You're still going to be thinking about things from the past. So just, just to let you know, if you manifest this and you guys come back together, you're going to have to put these swords in the back of the boat. You're going to have to put stuff behind you. I feel like it's, it'll be hard for you to move forward in this boat being still stuck in your mind about things from the past. Okay, so I feel if you're both manifesting this, but see if you can get these swords behind you, okay? All the things that bothered you about what happened in the past, I feel like it all needs to be let go of, okay? If you choose, if you choose, right? Lovers is a decision. It's a decision that you make, right? Um, so if you choose to take this person back, put the, I think you should put the swords in the past anyway. Put the pain in the past anyway, right? Um, forgive and release, you know, whether you choose this person or not. But this person's coming in. They're coming in to get you. You are their wish. I'm telling you what you are wishing for, they're wishing for. And this could end up turning into a commitment, full-on commitment. This person wants to commit. That's it. That's that. They want to commit. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> you got the Ten of Pentacles here, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, right? The Lover's card, the Two of Cups. You both manifested this. Um, the question is, can you put the past behind you? Can you put the past behind you? right? Who anyway, collective, get ready, because this, yeah, somebody's about to get this communication. Um, 
And I feel like this is the reunion here. This is a reunion. Anyway, congratulations for whoever this is for. Okay, congratulations. Um, I've been getting a lot of reunion readings, so um, I know these twin flames are starting to come together now. Okay, so yeah, this is really good. This is really, truly good. I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.